Okay, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. Starting just a little early here today. Hey, Cali Commuter. Um, going live a little before 3 Eastern today. And uh, our first one, we have a donation deck um, for Azorius Super Friends. So this is similar to like the Jeskai Legends deck we played the other day, um, but just kind of trimming it down and making it two color. So... We, we still have Raph Compassion that will help us flash in our historic spells. So we can we can flash in Planeswalkers if we want, or Search for Ascanta. You know, if, if those are ever things that need to be doing. I've been really happy with the Zorb so far in the format. So, um, yeah, this counterspell has been uh, very impressive so far. Um, this is going to be my first time playing Depose and Deploy. This is a, a new card that this will be my first time playing it. Um, Deploy, you know, can make some more Thopters. Uh, that uh, that kind of work really well with a lot of things we have going on. Um, both like Deploy and Dovin make Thopters. We have Karn that cares about how many artifacts you have. And we also have Tezzeret that can make Thopters or maybe draw a lot of cards if we have three artifacts in play. So that'll be kind of interesting to see how those all kind of play out together. Um, we have a couple treasure maps also uh, to go with that artifact theme. A little worried about the treasure map, though, because, like, treasure map gets exiled by Urza's Ruinous Blast. That's a little bit of a non-bow, but... Oh, well. Um, I mean, of course, same with all the tokens and everything, but, you know, we can we can set that up. Um, sideboard, I'm a little... You know, like, if we have we have some cards, like, we have a couple Dawn of Hope, Deputy of Detention, Ixalan's Binding, Angel of Grace. These are all cards that would get exiled by Urza's Ruinous Blast. So I'm not sure if we're going to want to be bringing these in if we have Blast in the deck. So like maybe we have to take out Blast to bring these in, because um, these are certainly cards you do like. You do not want to exile your own Deputy Detention or your own Ixalan's Binding. Certainly do not want to do that. And even exiling your own Dawn of Hope is pretty bad, also. So that's going to be a little bit of tension uh, that we'll kind of see how that plays out. Um, and we got a couple more sweepers, Lyra's against Aggro, some more counter spells. Um, so that's a little bit of tension that we'll, we'll kind of see how that works. Uh, other thing that I am, you know, just kind of looking at it immediately that I'm not in love with is to Memorial to Genius. I think this card is average at best. I think Arch of Araska is like kind of a, a better version of this card, and I just don't like tap lands basically, and, and having tap lands in the deck, I'm not not sold that that card is going to be worth it, especially as two of two of them, maybe one, but um, I could see times like where. We don't hit a third or fourth or fifth land drop untapped because of this memorial to genius and that being a, a, a big problem. So I'm not sure if the ability on the card is going to be worth uh, that, but we'll see. I, I don't mind Azorius Gilgate because I, I do like the, the color fixing. Um, I think that is an important thing to have, but just when you have six mana later on, sacrificing your land to draw two cards... Sometimes it's, that's a really nice ability, but that's those are you know some corner case scenarios there. But let's try it out. Um, Azorius Super Friends. So how's everybody's day going so far today? We are really, really close to a thousand subs on YouTube. We're at 990. Uh, expecting to get to over the thousand mark today, um, and then uh, and so we'll be doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate getting over a thousand YouTube subs. Um, and uh, the 12-hour stream, I not going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it Thursday. You know, we make it today. Um, I have some other things to take care of tomorrow, earlier before the stream. So. More so Angry Poncho says, I mean, more, Memorial to Glory was good. Yeah, it draws one card from your graveyard. Oh, Memorial to Folly, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Memorial to Folly was good and drew one card from the graveyard. Um, overall, I was still even a little lower on Memorial to Folly than, than uh, a lot of people. But um, the thing about memorial to folly decks is it is only one card instead of two but you get selection you get to choose the exact card you want which is uh pretty important um which you know I, which basically means i don't think it's that much worse than two um since you get to choose but the the big thing about it is it's in a deck 
that has a lot of cards that are built around hitting land drops. Like it's, it has a lot, you know, like the, all the explore creatures are, and Vivian are just really good at uh, making sure you hit land drops. And um, so it's kind of easier to get towards the late game with that. But of course we have a lot of removal and things like that here. So we have Chemister's Insights. So yeah, I mean, I could certainly see it being worth it. You know, I'm, I'm just skeptical going in. That's, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I guess I just pass. I could play Dovin here, but I, I don't think I play Dovin, they play Teferi is very good for me. Yeah, YouTube channel, Ariel, or URL. You can, uh, YouTube. Real easy, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. So with them casting chemistries inside main phase like that, they're certainly looking for a land drop. Hmm. I don't think they're going to play a counterspell, honestly. I think I may just slam Teferi here. I'm going to call... I don't think they actually have... Like, So, if they counter Teferi, then play their own Teferi. That's just horrendous for me. But I just don't think that that scenario is going to happen. Well, they'll probably... Hmm, they're just going to inside and then play Teferi. And then they can tuck... I guess, I guess them playing Teferi and tucking my Teferi is pretty bad for me. Yeah, it looks like they're their Nexus deck. Yeah, that's what it looks like. 993. Thanks, Fairy to 9. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to get to that 1,000 here. What's the flash blue monster that surveils for? Dream Eater. Dream Eater. Two words. Um, no reason to draw two here. Because we just have to go to discard. So wait, so it starts at three. What if I tick up? Oh, the minus is at seven for the ultimate. That's a long ways away. All right, so it starts at three. So you could go to f if if you just tick up, you go to four and then five and then six and then seven and then you can ultimate in the fifth turn. If you go minus. If you go minus, you go to two, minus, you go to one, tick up, you go to three, tick up, you go to five, tick up, you go to seven, and then ultimate on the sixth turn. So if you if you do go minus, minus, you don't ultimate for an extra turn. I can benefit from another success. Thanks, Cali Commuter. You've been there since the beginning. Okay, if you hold that thought, so many lands. So they get two turns. Oh, that's true. I get three loyalty counters if they both connect. That's that's a good point. That's a good point. So I would get... Um... Yeah, so actually, let's redo that math. So take one turn to go down to two, another turn to go down. Go down to two, go down to one, 
and then go up to four, go up to seven, and then you ultimate. So you still ultimate at the same, the same five turn stretch. Okay. Gone through 25 cards right now. Hope they've only found one Teferi. Their deck is really cycling. Just so much mana. They've just spent they spent so much mana. If you think about like how much mana they've spent total in the game, it's just an incredible amount. Hey Yud, going good. I think they may have another turn after this, honestly. Like, do they have another turn after this, or, or not because of the Nexus of Fate thing? Like, there's no Nexus of Fate symbol over here. So do they not have another turn after this, or, or do they? Yeah, Liss is up there on Stream Decker. We were playing an Azorius Super Friends uh, donation deck from yesterday. Creason, for all the hours that I've played, this is now the second time that I've played against this deck. And the first time I won, this is the second. And, you know, lost game one, just like this, and then won game, games two and three. This is the second time I've seen it for... Yeah, you know, I had a nine-hour stream the first day, and then 12 hours, and then, like, eight and a half yesterday, and I've played against this deck twice. So I think, so, you know, like your statement was like, I have no interest in Arena Standard because of this deck. I mean, the, it's just not that popular of a deck in, in best of three. Just, you know, it's it's the kind of deck that's great game one, but once you bring an interaction for it, games two and three, it's not as good. Oh, it's, it's because all you see is Twitter Twitter people complain about this? Yeah, well, that's why you don't, don't, don't need Twitter in your life. I've been very happy since I have left Twitter and stopped using it. I have a lot more time during the day. So they're on. So I don't think they have another turn after this. Right now. Yeah, if we if we get to cast this Ru ruinous blast, we'll get rid of those wilderness reclamations. The problem, you know, we'll have to get rid of our thopters for that. Hey, yeah, afterwards they're doing good. I think it'd probably be best for me to counter. So they are passing the turn. I guess I just take the turn. I mean, I, I would like to cast this chemistry's insight, but I don't think I risk it. If I cast chemistry's insight, then they could nexus a fade after that. This is no mere trinket.
Um, do I want to tuck search for Ascanta? Is the big question right now, I think. Or if I want to tick up. I think I'll just tick up. Hurry! I think I need to try to ultimate this. Um, to ferry. Yeah. We're dead. I mean, I could pay two there. But at that point, we're not going to win. Even if I pay two. Alright, so I want... I want Cleansing Nova. I want Spell Pierce. I want Negate. I want Deputy of Detention. Um, binding. I think I, I want those. I'm just going to take the Blast out. Because I'm going to have a lot of things that Blast gets rid of now. Um... Now, what do I want? What do I? What am I thinking about this Angel of Grace or Lyra Dawnbringer? Settle, of course, comes on out. Dovin seems like it's really slow. Same with Deploy. These seem incredibly slow. It's kind of the problem. Everything we have is is really slow. Yeah, I still have things to answer creatures. Like, I still have Cleansing Novas, you know, Ixalan's Binding, Teferi. I can still answer cre creatures. I think I want Angel of Grace. And I maybe I just cut Dovin and Depose. Because they are so slow at killing the opponent. And that's really all they do. Um... And like, what, a Wrath? Don't think I need Dawnbringer, though, or Dawn of Hope. Four Carnage Tyrants might be coming in. All right, well, we still we got, got a couple sweepers. For those. All right, Search for Escanta. That's a great one. Maybe the Dawnbringers are better than, like, Karns or, or Tezzerets? Or I guess probably Karns. Yeah, like, maybe I should be playing Dawnbringer instead of Karn. I kind of like Tezzeret zeroing just over and over and just draw a card each turn. Uh, Karn does draw a card also, but, you know, they get to... Um, they get to choose and everything, and it's a little slow in that sense. Alright, get rid of the search for Escanta. Is it lame that the new Detention Sphere guy doesn't hit your search too? No, I don't think so. I think it's... It's, uh... I don't think I like it as much that it does hit... That it would hit uh, both people. What would I want to discard for this insight to draw to at their end step if... I guess maybe I just discard the spell pierce. Seems a little weird. It certainly seems like they're keeping a counter spell up for a Teferi. Could discard Nova. I'm gonna discard it. Absorb. <sighs> All 
All right, no carnage tyrant. Um. Attacking doesn't make any sense here. Because uh, Donna Hope will just make a token and they'll have like a, a lifelink token. So, worst case scenario, they play Teferi, Tuck, my Teferi. Next turn. I have faced worse than the likes of you. Hmm. So, if. So, they make a token at end step, they untap. Or, no, they would be Teferi tucking like Karn. Right? Not. Because I don't have Teferi in play yet. Now they play Teferi and tick up, and then I'd want to be able to play my Teferi and protect an it. Choice. Can you explain your thinking behind discarding the Absorb? Um, at the time with how I was at with mana, I was going to be really strapped for mana, and Absorb was a more expensive counter spell than Spell Pierce would be. Um, but I, I didn't, I don't, you know, I don't want to discard Teferi, and with me only having two Cleansing Novas, it's not really a card that I want to get rid of either. I think it was between the two counter spells, and Absorb is just more expensive. Hey, Rev Daddy. Are you certain of your decision? I should put the land in the gra in the graveyard. Need to go towards flipping this Ascanta. Wait, what am I doing? I need to play Teferi here. They only have two mana. Teferi, tuck the Dawn of Hope. Yep, Simic went from a donation deck to a real deck. Made some changes last night afterwards, and I'm excited to play it. Let's yeah, slow guess I don't need to talk Dawn of Hope. We'll draw and have Wrath Compassion available. No time for a break. That's annoying. Now I kind of wish I would have discarded Spell Pierce over Absorb for how much mana our opponent's gotten with uh, on us now. Gross Spiral has been a really impressive card. Of course, that was one that we certainly thought was going to be impressive, but it's been very impressive. So good news, they're down to two cards. I could go grab another Cleansing Nova. It'd be good to flip this as Kanta and then Cleansing Nova destroy enchantments kind of thing. Need to find counter magic. You may regret that choice. Ooh, Ixlon's binding's real good. That's really good. Keep up the pace. I 
All right, treasure map's historic. So I can play that at instant speed with the help of Raph. But I wanted to I wanted to play the two mana spell anyway, so I could draw, or so I could untap. Hey, radical! I'm not attacking here because the threat of my opponent just making a couple creatures, and they get to attack with them and draw cards. And I don't really want my opponent to be able to attack with those creatures. And I'll fire off that spell pierce as well I can. Yeah, I I think I would go with probably straight bad. Gosh. Re Reclamation with Dawn of Hope is amazing. That's a good combination right there. Am I willing to trade? Am I willing to trade my treasure map and search for Escanta for their Dawn of Hope and Wilderness Reclamation if I just Cleansing Nova destroy all artifacts and enchantments? I think so. I have one card in hand. Seems like a fairly reasonable trade. Oh, uh, that one card was a next to fate. That was the worst. All right, well, they get to... Basically, that's the worst because they get these soldiers in play where they get to attack with these soldiers now and draw multiple cards with, with Dawn of Hope. So now they get all this mana where they get three new cards. So instead of just having one card, then Nexus is turning into multiple other cards. Turns into more things. Please no Nexus. Ah, they found another one. Man, that one last card being a Nexus there with this combination in play. Really good. All right, so now they have four cards, which is very possible none of these four cards is a Nexus. Sure hope not. Let me untap. Let me untap. It's kind of surprising they went that all out. Um, as long as one of those two... It's not over. If the, one of those two is not a Nexus of Fate... I'm going to win this. If one of them, or I'll, I'll have a very good chance of winning this. If one of them is a Nexus of Fate, it's going to be really, really bad for me. Oh, the, the fog, the fogs don't matter at all. Those literally don't matter in the slightest. I haven't attacked in like eight turns. Okay. Yeah, because I'm going to just Nova and destroy all these things. Um... I mean, I'm just going to take Teferi. Alright, I guess I, I do need to worry about... Hmm. I guess I need to worry about a counter spell. They could counter the Nova. I don't have enough mana to get double Nova. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five and four. I could Ixalan's Binding and Nova. Alright, so I'm going to just draw my card. I'm not going to scry first. Because I wanted the four mana still, if this gets countered, to be able to Binding the Dawn of you Hope. You know what? I'm not done yet.
Maybe I should just Teferi. Maybe I should just be Teferi tucking. Um, I don't know if I'm dead. I don't know what other win con my opponent has besides Dawn of Hope. They may not have another win con. We haven't seen one yet. We haven't seen them have a Teferi, even. Like, if they don't have another win con, they can't win, right? Yeah, so... I think they they take the rest of the turns. I guess they need to have they need to have like a Teferi or something. I should have Teferi tucked though. That was the my my big mistake that last turn was just drawing the card with Teferi. I should have just you know, I tried to draw a counter spell to protect my cleansing nova. But I should have just cast the Cleansing Nova and had Teferi Tuck available um, on the Search for Escanta if my spell got countered. I didn't have 10 mana for double Nova. I would have loved to double Nova. I didn't have 10 mana for it. I'm 9 mana. I wish that you I wish you could actually just you know F6 and not not have to click okay to everything but I have to click okay to everything If I treasure map do I still have to click okay to everything If I'm tapped out like that Okay, I guess now I now I don't have to click okay to everything I tap out. Yeah, but you still have to click resolve for Nexus, yeah. Because of like the reveal. You have to be like, okay, this is revealed kind of thing. And same with the as cancer revealing cards. So what happens if they can't win? Has it necessarily looked like they can win yet? Ah. All right, they can win now. Hydro Crisis gets it. Yeah, so my big mistake there was not tucking with the fairy. But All right, we are 0 and 1. Hey, White Jaguar. Ooh. Uh, 
Lots of blue mana. We just need to draw one white source. I think I'll go ahead and keep this. I think it's pretty likely we draw a white source. Get to hit some land drops. We have like end step wrath into untap Urza's Ruinous Blast. We have like this combo here. Thought Bound Phantasm. Yeah, if Nexus was just a sorcery, that'd be a lot better. Or, or if, um... If it was a sorcery, or if it didn't shuffle into your deck, if it was just like, you know, all the other extra turn things and just exiled itself. All right, blue black surveil. I'm hoping they take. I'm hoping they do not take Urza's Ruinous Blast. I'm hoping like uh, they can take any of the other cards. I do not want them to take Blast. I like our opponent's name though. You know, like they're just they're blue black, and they're like they're they're saying what they like to do. They like to play blue black. It's pretty awesome. I approve. All right, so the blast is down, so I don't have a good answer to the phantasm right now. I want them to do their surveilling before I play my wrath and block the sprite um, so they don't have that knowledge first. Hey Matthew, yeah we got uh, turbo fog. And so that's unfortunate. Game one wasn't too close, but game game two is definitely close. I feel like I feel like I could have I need to be more aggressive tucking with Teferi on game two. I was drawing cards. And that hurt us. Alright, I wanna settle this phantasm away. I am at eleven here. You know, I could have flashed in like a Dovin or Karn or anything like that, but Let's get this Phantasm out here. It does give them their second blue, which that may turn on some of their hand. Yeah, and we are playing Depoise Deploy. Also, we got four of those in the deck with our Dovins here. Yeah, so it's a, next is a combo deck. You need to interact with it or aggro it down. If you give them time, you lose just like every other combo deck and every other card game. It's a very, that's a very good point. That's that's exactly what it is. Oh no, it's been working pretty good. Um, yeah, we're just we're just two games. You know, we're two games in. We lost two games. It happens. We're on our third game. You know, so it's just one match. All right, so our opponent can see what they want to give us. All right, so we're getting deploy, and I think so. I think next turn I just want to go Dovin plus deploy, and then what? So I have three. I'll have three Thopters gain three life. 
Hey, Born. Um, I'm not really active much in your stream, but I enjoyed a lot your format of running several different decks and best of three each stream is great, in my opinion. Well, thank you so much. Born to Leap. Glad you're here. And, you know, it's okay not being active in chat, just sitting back and getting other work done and just having the stream on. I'm glad you're here. All right, we may need to just depose this Doom Whisperer, honestly. That may be a better course of action than casting Deploy. Please do not do that. That Doom Whisperer is big. Real big. I'm impressed anyone would be so foolish as to be inspired by a good assault. One ones are just so small. So I can I can go get negate. Or I can make a 2 2. I guess the 2 2 just is better against Chupacabra. <laughs> there is great power in the feet. Yeah, and our opponent wasn't even playing Teferi in their in their deck. They just had Dawn of Hope and uh, Dawn of Hope and Will Hydroid Crisis were the only things we saw there. Like they were trying to stay away from even Planeswalker removal or anything. I I definitely like Negate a whole lot more than Disdainful Stroke. Um, but I could see you, I could see more board wipes. Um, yeah, I, I could certainly see more ways to deal with big creatures. A card that, that I think would be good in the deck, honestly, would be Warrant, um, Warrant Warden. Actually, I think that's the card you, that, uh, would be good in this deck, where two mana put an attacking creature back on top of their library. I think that card's pretty good. Or you can just make a 4-4. Four -four. But yeah, I could certainly see more... More sweepers or or warrant warden, because yeah, like the one ones are just they're so small, like they don't actually kill things. Hmm. So these spy bugs are infinitely big for them, basically. Well, the 4-4 four four doesn't, I mean, these are these are big flyers. 4-4 four four doesn't, doesn't do anything for us. I am cycling the Depose and trying to look for another Sweeper. We've already played, I guess we've already had two of our three Sweepers. One got discarded. We played a Settle on a 6-6. Six six. I'll keep Dovin alive. Maybe that's a bad block. You're doing me a favor. A curious choice. I went with the flying to token because my hope is to make the. Uh, I was to make the Karn token bigger than Chupacabra, but maybe that's just too lofty of a hope. Alright, we can crack Memorial of Genius, so Memorial of Genius is, is pretty good here. Yeah, I should have just blocked with the 2-2. Two -two. I 
My opponent most likely will respect Settled Wreckage. I believe. It's possible they don't and I'm dead. So Matthew Ori, how have you been liking Dovin? It hasn't been... Yeah, I've had it game one of the, these two matches here, and it has not been impressive. Making, like, some 1-1s one that haven't done anything. Yeah, my opponent has lethal in, unless they... They, uh... Respect Settle. I accept defeat. Okay, so yeah, he said... Dovin's been great. I usually deploy and make a lot of blockers. So right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're looking at 8 mana. So I can play Tezzeret plus Dovin. Um... Search, search gets to flip, actually, so we'll have 9 mana. So we could have Wrath plus Tezzeret. Yeah, these, these creatures are just kind of too big for us. Need need another sweeper. I have constructed your a master builds with ease. I think I'd rather play Raft than than dove in, and I like keeping up the settle the wreckage bluff or as Kanta. Yeah, we're gonna have two extra sweepers in the sideboard. Those will certainly be helpful. Keep bringing in the cleansing novas. Hostage taker. That card's really good here. Yeah, if, if the thought if it wasn't for thought erasure taking Urza's ruinous blast, we would have been just fine. But that thought that thought erasure really hurt us. Like usual, that card's great. <laughs> you're su you're surprised blue black doesn't play mono red. All right, so our opponent does not respect Settle the Wreckage. Uh. All right, oh, Binding is great. Let's get Binding in here. Nova. Um... I like Angel of Grace, I think. Or maybe not. It's kind of the problem with... Uh, like, Binding is a great card, but the problem with having Binding and Urza's Ruinous Blast together is... You know, they... Like, once you have a Binding in play, you, you never want to cast a Blast kind of thing. They don't play well together. Um... Let's see. Yeah, these these are not these two cards aren't very good against Chupacabra, um, and Hostage Taker. Okay, yeah, you took out the treasure maps. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier. The treasure maps are a little awkward with Urza's Ruinous Blast for sure. They're menace. The the other flyers had menace. I couldn't. I couldn't make a block that would let us survive that last turn. 
What four cards would we want to cut in this matchup? All right, if we cut maps, we maybe cut maps and negate. Have a high curve, but they had like a you know they had we saw like a counter spell from them, and they'll probably have more counter spells here. But I'm not sure if I really want negate necessarily. We can keep this with uh, these deposes can cycle. Once they play a creature, you know, you can't just cycle this immediately. You have to have a creature in play. But really like Tezzeret. All right, we got our land. There we go. We're getting there. Now let's get another one. And another one after that. All right, no blue mana for the opponent. Never mind. Check that. No. No Thief of Sanity. Ugh. Like, I could let that resolve and then be able to cast these deploys, deposes to cycle, but... That's not worth it. Thief of Sanity is a pretty scary card. I've been pretty ha I've been pretty happy with Absorb in, in other decks. Um So Nightville Sprite. I'm gonna let it resolve. There we go. And now I could just deploy and have two blockers and be able to, to kill the Night Veil Sprite. Um, if that resolves. Or we could just come through inside and draw a couple. Um, spy Bug. That one's honestly really scary. Card's honestly really scary. You know, they just play like their, you know, two mana surveil, um, discovery, you know, all that kind of stuff. It gets just really big and menacing. And obviously, obviously they'd have a trigger here, so it was just a 2-2 two -two flying menace at the very least there. But it would just get bigger. Alright, and they kept that card on top, whatever it was. Well, that one, that one resolves. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy and kill the sprite. So that worked. Ugh, where's the where's our land at for this Tezzeret? Alright, so I could dove in and start making more blockers, but you know, the spy bug just kinda could kinda kill the dove in pretty easily. I think I may just insight here. There's our lands there right on top. Teferi tucking spy bug is, is pretty big game. Um, you know, like resetting a spy bug. That that could certainly be something that we could do here in a little bit. We don't necessarily need to do it right now with a 2-2 spy bug, but that's something that can certainly happen. <laughs> Boris, awesome. You're playing the gate deck? Yeah, the gate deck's a lot of fun. I, I think... 
Still needs like some tuning in the sideboard and the uh, and the other top end, but there's a, a lot to like about what that gate deck has going on. Silent, obedient perfection. I'm gonna go ahead and play Tezzeret. We got a couple of them, and I'm gonna just start making some one ones. I'm not necessarily gonna block either of these. Like both of these attack Tezzeret right now. I'll just let Tezzeret take four. That's rude. Uh, the gate deck you can find in... Yeah, right there in the, the link that's a little bit above you. Um, the deck's there. Streamdecker.com slash deck slash Todd Stevens MTG. You can find the gate deck in there. Alright, to ferry down. Be hard to get rid of the spy bug now. I love they're attacking me. How dare you! This will keep an eye on you. So Dovin works pretty good here, but I'm not, you know, sold it so much Dovin being good as Tezzeret being good kind of thing that's true yeah we could you know if we you know so I'm kind of planning on deploy here you know we also have absorb and insight but um, if we don't need those kind of count uh, thing about deploying but if we keep hmm two three four five six seven that just needs to leave. Just get the extra cards, make us lose life. I don't love it. So we may need to... I guess... Dovin has, like, no loyalty. It only has two loyalty. We have to, like, chump a chupacabra to keep it alive. The problem is it's not really 3 mana, 3 one on flyers. It's just like 3 mana, you get a 1-1, one, one, and then you have to chump block to try to keep it alive. And so you have to just chump with your 1-1, one, because one, it just has no loyalty and it's just dead. So, so it's 3 mana, you get a 1-1 one, one and gain some life. Um, Search for Scanta is great. I know what must be done. Hmm. Should probably keep the other things around. Uh, yeah, Matt, I, I've seen the deck. I haven't seen it like in action or anything. So we have, you know, lots of options here. You know, we can just Chemister's Insight, discard this other Search for Scanta, draw a couple cards. Um, it certainly looks like our opponent's going to be Thought Erasuring us, which is which is pretty okay. Uh, you know, like none of these cards are that special. I think I just let a Thought Erasure resolve. Oh, they don't have another blue mana though. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, I think I definitely think a full playset of Gates of Blaze should be main deck in that deck. Gates of Blaze is incredible. I, you know, whenever I played the Gates deck before, uh, I certainly wanted more than four Gates of Blaze. All right, what do we got here? Six coming at Tezzeret. I think I'm going to try to get the spy bug off the battlefield.
before it gets even bigger. Blocking with five, because if they have an instant speed removal spell, um, still want to be able to kill it. Enough! I I don't think that there should be Sylvan. I mean, I haven't played that version of the deck, but I'd be surprised if Sylvan Awakening is the best thing for the deck. I'd I'd be pretty shocked, honestly. Just going to be such a bad card almost all the time. But I haven't played that deck. I'll just keep it. Like, Raph just blocks this Chupacabra well. I made you a gift. Um, so I can like Raph plus Insight or Raph plus Ascanta, or I can just go Raph plus Dovin. All those are options. I'm going to Raph plus Dovin. You have been analyzed and found wanting. <laughs> Are they going to contempt Dovin? I can benefit from another success. Attack for one. Got to get there. They are going to contempt Dovin. Good job, Dovin. Where do you get contempted? Tezzeret's such a better card, but just because they know I have a second Tezzeret. But it's such a better card. Yeah, I mean, I could have plus next turn and gained four loyalty. Still take Tezzeret. Raph doing his thing. Hmm. It is the ideal subordinate. I think I just attack like all the time from here. Um, we're in just a really good position. So I have enough to insight plus Ascanta or double insight. We'll kind of see what we want to do. You know, assuming my opponent hostage takers, like the hostage taker attacks Tezzeret, I'm not blocking. I'm just going to keep on making one ones and pressuring their life total. Until we kill them. <laughs> oh, thanks, Matt. Thanks for the kind words. Really glad we got the Demir spy bug off the battlefield earlier. I don't think we're gonna need to draw two. We're gonna we're gonna see a bunch of new cards this turn with Inside and Ascanta. I don't think we need to draw two with Tezzeret. I think I'd rather just have the the swarm of one one still. How thick headed are you? Hmm. Let's try a new, new two. <laughs> Plus, the ticking up also gains the loyalty, which makes it makes it so Tezzeret dies slower. 
is another good thing for us. I will fight. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Hey, Techstar. Yeah, I've got Naya Angel and Naya Value on today's stream. Naya Angels is a donation deck from that somebody donated for for yesterday, which I, I don't have the deck list for yet. So hopefully we get that later. But yeah, I'm going to play Naya Value again. Um, you know, definitely one of my favorite games. Our favorite decks. All right, yeah, we won a game. Very nice. Let's see. Anything to change? Don't mind this Angel of Grace. We certainly need to be kind of worried about their large flying creatures. Um, but no, I think we just kind of keep this the same. Let's just keep on keep it on. See if we can get game three. <laughs> well, we got to keep winning for this this deck to take all stream because we're already down. We already have one loss. We can't get another loss. And this is a keep. You know, we got good mana. We don't have like a whole lot of things to be doing on turn one or two anyway. So we're just keeping our land drops, um, especially with the settle. You know, if they had to have like thought erasure to take settle kind of thing, like this, it could be a whole lot like the first game. Um, but our opponent's at five cards, so hopefully we can beat a five card hand. <laughs> yeah. I would not play Radical Idea at all. I think you could. Yeah, Radical Idea would not be a good card for the deck. The Sorcery Speed Impulse is a really good card, though. I would recommend that card or Discovery. Uh, I'd rather have either of those over Radical Idea. Yeah, Wilderness plus Dawn of Hope is insane. That is true. That is very good. I don't enjoy that. seeing things They're suffer, statistically likely I'll make to an fail. exception for you. Man, Dovin's saying so many things at the same time. Dorvin, thank you so much for the gift. Gifting out a sub to Tyler. That gets some hype in the channel. Thanks, Dorvin. That's sub number one on the day. Getting the first one out there. Yeah, so now we'll get to deploy on turn four. I mean, you know, turn four on the draw without having anything on turn one or turn two, and our opponent still can't even attack Dovin for two. You know, I'm not saying the Dovin's good necessarily here. Like, I'm astonished that succeeded. You know, it's I think it's pretty hard to imagine norm like normal games where Dovin would actually survive. What are you doing? I'm playing this card. These contraptions have their uses. I think I'm just gonna deploy main phase so that it doesn't get countered. I don't care if it gets countered. If it gets countered, then Teferi's not getting countered. Golden Guardian? That can't be worth it. <laughs> I don't just hate him because he's blue. I like some blue cards. Frilled Mystic's awesome. That's a blue card. Um, yeah, I like some blue cards. I like Tezzeret. Tezzeret's awesome. Because it ticks up to make Thopters instead of ticks down to make Thopters. I like that a lot more. Right. 
Right on schedule. Right on schedule. Reverse. I don't want to tick up. My inventions bring joy to me and others. So it's at six loyalty right now. Next turn we can be seven, and then the turn after that we can ultimate. Yeah, I haven't ultimated Dovin yet. I mean, I I know it's I know it's I certainly know it's good. Um. You know, it's just like it's even better dig through time. Let's skip to the good part. There is elegance in simplicity. Hmm, there is elegance in simplicity. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's play some. Gotta have a lot of these these symbols over here. And maybe the first time I've had three different symbols over there. You know, I've had like you know lots of Nexus of Fates symbols over there, but three different ones. Oh, I didn't even untap double blue or double white. I mean. Oh well. I wanted to deploy anyway. But, you know, it'd be nice to have the option to settle. Alright, so we'll chump with this Thopta. This game's pretty over. Our opponent doesn't really have anything, and we're about to have a lot of things. All right, we're about to Dovin, Dovin Ultimate coming up. I haven't Dovin Ultimate before. This will be the first time. Nobody's done it against me. All right, let's. Here we go. Oh, you are no match for my foresight. You are no match for my foresight. So I get to take any three of these, huh? I want this one and this one and this one. Ooh, that was cool. We need to move quickly. Get out of here, Diva Sandy. First time, and it's a win more. Yeah, it's pretty true. Certainly was gonna win that game very easily, even without that ultimate. But at least that was like pretty cool animation, though. That was that was a cool animation. All right, one and one. We won a match. Let's see if we can get match number two. <laughs> yeah, Urza's Ruinous Blast exiled the opponent. Wow. I guess our opponent wasn't legendary. Yeah, just not opponent was we did not have a legendary opponent that time. Oh, I didn't even notice they changed the blast effect. Is the blast effect a cool animation now? I guess I I was thinking about the Dovin one and honestly I just didn't really even notice or see it. What's your guess for new tier one decks? It's still real early for that. Um, I'm not sure. Lots of gates, huh? I should have played Dovin the previous turn though. That's getting countered. Because they weren't, they weren't likely playing something that turn. Oh, 
Um, all right, now that we have negate, I'll go ahead and get Dovin in play and keep negate up instead of playing Wrath. Oh, Guild Summit's awesome. Yeah, Guild Summit's so good. I was really struggling drawing Guild Summits before. Hmm. Just gives those cre their creatures haste. Yeah, we'll take it out. I'm inspired by a good assault. Okay, so our Thopter plan with Urza's Ruinous Blast is also a little awkward. How we're just gonna exile our Thopters if we need to like blast away some big creature. But no, I wish I didn't negate the first one. <laughs> My inventions bring joy to me and others. Do I want to just insight right now? So if I insight now, I can have three mana. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess yeah, I guess we could have done that. Gotten the city's blessing. I wasn't really using that anytime soon with with having ins insight. All right, hold hold up, blast. Okay. All right, so we don't get the land drop, which you know land drops are really nice, but we don't get a land drop here. Yeah, I guess I could blast away the ram and the rhythm. But that takes our Thopter also. Hmm. Alright, we got land drop. If I tick up to five... Next turn, I can double tick up to seven, and then ultimate the third turn. If I make a Thopter, I'm just gonna make a Thopter. I'm inspired by a good assault. Thopter, I go down to three, but then next turn I tick up to six. Uh oh, that's a problem. That card's really good. There's only one negate left in the deck. I think it's pretty unlikely that our insight hits the, draws the one negate left. I'd, I'd rather have Wrath in play. These contraptions have All right, so Tezzeret gets to talk Guild Summit. I could also wait and have Tezzeret talk a creature, though. Hmm. And just go Tezzeret. Maybe just Tezzeret tick up so I can cast Insight also. That's honestly probably just better. Hold that thought. Oh, I'm saying Tezzeret, aren't I? And it's Teferi. I'm just saying, <laughs> saying the wrong thing. Uh, they both start with a T. We're one man away from being able to flash in this Tezzeret. Like the real Tezzeret, the Artifice Master. <laughs> Tezzeret, Hero of Dominaria. Yeah, I could certainly see Gates Ablaze here.
All right, we got a lot of Colossi. Hmm. I can't block those Gate Colossuses. Um... I can tuck one, deploy another, and I can block one with Wrath, and then I can ultimate Dovin. Deputies in our sideboard. It would be it would sure be nice. That's using a whole lot of resources to try to get rid of these eight eights. I'm not sure if I'm I'm down with using all those resources, honestly. I guess, I, I guess I'm probably gonna tuck. I guess I'm gonna tuck one. Not so <clears throat> fast. I hope you don't mind if I enjoy this. I think I'm gonna just try to kill him. So we have to de deploy, we can make a couple more. Make a couple more Thopters. Hmm. All right, so we don't get to kill him this turn. Hey, hot outside today. I'm doing good. Oh, I should have played deploy though, just so I could, I could have gained one more life with deploy. But it's possible we find the settle the wreckage here. Maybe we draw settle. Those are not settle the wreckage. It's only a matter of time. Incorrect. Go ahead and gloat. How many gates do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, they only have seven gates. So Gates of Blaze would not kill their Gate Colossi. Yeah, I could go Tez draw two or we make another one one. I guess draw two is probably better. I'm not sure why they coiled the one one. I am master of machines. And not the You're three three. Still one step behind. Absorb's good. Absorb's good. <laughs> yeah, maybe they thought we could block the Colossus. Until they wanted to take out a blocker. Tempo them out with, with some one ones. No gates of blaze. They just had a bunch of lava coils. Lava coils, not so good. Gates of blaze, real good. Um, this is tough. Uh, this is certainly a matchup I want Ixalan's binding, but it's certainly a matchup I want Urza's Runus Blast also. So I guess we're just going to have to play both of those. All right, Matthew. Take care. You think I want more negates in this matchup? I probably do. Yeah, we probably want negates to counter Gates of Blaze and 
their gate card, uh, the the blue gate card. All right, what about, um, oh, that's true, it fights their negates also. What about Deputy of Detention? So it's like I'm just going to have like a bunch of sweepers and Deputy of Detentions. It's kind of weird. These angels are probably kind of nice. You don't know about Deputy? Yeah, they have Lava Coil. Never mind, I don't want that. They have Lava Coil. Think about just taking out Dovin and Depose Deploy. I guess Deploy's good. I'm not sure about Dovin. Yeah, we got 30 seconds. Alright, Dawnbringer out. One one Wrath out. Karn out. Um, maybe just both all, both Karns? No, we'll go take Dovin out. And one another Karn. Oh, those treasure maps are not good. I should have taken the treasure maps out. I had to hurry up, though. I should have taken the treasure maps out and keep Karn in over a map, I think. Alright, so we need another blue source for this other for this absorb here. I think the tough call is gonna be whether to play treasure map on turn two or not. Um I think that's gonna be kind of a tough call. Because they may sneak a guild summit in on turn three that we don't get to negate. Um But of course they're also a gate deck, so they have lots of tap land. So they'd have to have untapped blue source. I think that's pretty unlikely they have untapped blue source. So I'll go ahead and treasure map. Alright, this is working out for us so far. What we got? Search for Escanta? Yeah. I think I'm gonna keep search. It's good. All right, so we'll get nope. Forgot about that card. That card's great too. Yes, yes, please. Hmm. No, no Oath of Teferi. We've got an all gate so far. Man, stop playing that card. Yeah, I'm gonna go and pay the two life here also, so I can play Raph and search for Escanta and draw a card. I guess I should probably just be drawing the card first on my turn. I could draw like Teferi. That one's fine, you can get one gate. Widovin's plus one stack with Oath of Teferi. Uh, yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can only with oath. You can use the planeswalkers twice, not three times. You get to use it one extra time. Mm 
<laughs> you play Planeswalker, you play Oath, use twice more, yeah? No. No, you could no, Oath just lets you use it one extra time. So we have like Arch of Orozco we can activate, we can cast Deploy. Um, you know, I can absorb something. Well, we're, we're in game, t this is game two. We're up a game. So our opponent having negate in their sideboard is very reasonable. I think I want to just keep Raph back to be able to block District Guide here. I could certainly see the merits in, uh, um, you know, still attacking with Raph, putting the pressure on, trying to end the game with Raph. Oh! That's really annoying. Uh, that's annoying. Now what? Sorry, Teferi. That's bad. They, they can get their, uh, whatever, Gate Colossus back if they want to with that. Looks like they do not. Hmm. Alright, so I can activate as Kanta and activate as Kanta and Depose and still have Negate up. Could also just crack Memorial to Genius and draw two instead of drawing the one. I have not made a Simic Ascendancy deck yet, no. I think I'm going to draw two. Binding the Colossus. One, two, three, four, five, and then I want four mana up. I was clicking pay two life. Because I thought I was clicking pay two life. It's annoying. So I don't get to keep up Negate here if I... I guess I can, I can still just inside and still have Negate up instead of Arch of Araska. Yeah, we played against Turbofog earlier. 
Um, I'm gonna keep the insight though, and draw one. We already we're already close to like seven. So I'm certainly thinking about just cleansing cleansing Novia Ing. I, I I would like to binding the Colossus though, but binding the Colossus makes future Urza's Ruinous Blast a whole lot worse. Um. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and Nova. I guess they could have had negate right there. I'm not done yet. That I did not play around at all. Negate would have been a feel bad. All right, we paid two life this time. We're figuring out how to play this game now. Um, figuring it out. But yeah, I don't. I mean, Turbo Fog. It is not a deck I like, but I don't think it's. I don't think it's necessarily toxic for the environment right now. Um, I think it is a whole lot better in best of one than best of three. It still may be very good in best of three. You know, well, you know that's to be seen. But I don't think it. I don't think it needs to be. There needs to be anything banned no yet. For a break. But no, it's not. It's not really enjoyable magic. Uh, or enjoy enjoyable gameplay. I don't think it promotes positive look at all this gameplay. All right, and now I'll just binding this Colossus this time. <laughs> Need to play Nexus and KCI. Get all the best gameplay. Alright, actually, I may just settle if they got the 3 4. I made you a gift. I clipped it and looked. It looked like your initial click didn't register, but you moused over the enters tap button right after. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what happened, Tatter. I think I think I, I wanted to pay two life and it, it like, you know, lagged a little bit and I was moving over towards like the next thing and I pro and I clicked the other thing. Clicked the uh, enters tapped. Um Yeah, I think that's what happened. Let's skip to the good part. They can't attack with Angel. I mean, they could attack with Angel. The thing is, is yeah, I'll, I'll binding. Them not attacking with Angel is kind of a problem for me, which means maybe I shouldn't have cast the deploy. Because I need to like, I want to be attacking with them, or I want to, yeah, I want to be attacking with all these. Uh, tokens and stuff. So I need, I want this angel out of the way so I can be attacking. Sure. All right. Is the new mono red aggro decks a positive magic though? Um, yeah. I think I think you I, yeah I think aggressive decks like that is is perfectly fine. It's just how like what Nexus of Fate and Wilderness Reclamation do is just like the amount of mana they get to cast with that deck is just just pretty ridiculous. Um, you know, having a bunch of burn spells that kill you quickly like that's it's a Certainly fine. All right, two and one. Yeah, you agree with that? Yep.
Alright, we got Chain Whirler. I don't think our deck is too good against Chain Whirler. Um, do I want to keep Absorb available? What's my opponent doing? Mountain, Mountain, Mountain. Could certainly be like Rekindling Phoenix here. I guess I just keep Absorb up. Uh, no, I haven't been very impressed with Dovin, but we're playing some Dovin. Playing the untapped land so I can just deploy on end step. Maybe I should be waiting to deploy until I have Dovin though with the, for the life gain. But, oh well. Hey, Dor- yeah, not Dorvin. <laughs> no, Dorvin's great. Oh, my poor opponent. I'm sorry. They're using uh, Lava Coils on Thopters. But you know it's going good for us. Anyone would be so foolish but I'll make an exception for you. Yeah, we basically yeah, our opponents used all these cards that haven't done anything. Even the the lightning strike we countered by just like the Dovin to gain a life and then the deploys gain life. Alright, so against red I want Angel, 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 uh negate, negate. Um I mean I, I like binding a lot in this matchup, but you know, it's the tough thing of binding or blast kind of thing. Um, Cause I like blast a lot too. I guess binding's probably better than blast though. I don't know. Yeah, we could go Nova binding. Blast takes out like the enchantment also, like. Um, you know, so it could take out Experimental Frenzy plus a creature kind of thing. But I think it's, maybe we'll just go Binding Nova. Especially since we have, like, Angel of Grace. We don't want to get exiled. I think I'm just cutting Karn. And trimming on Dovin. These Thopters just... You know, dying to Chain Whirler is not great. I think one Dovin's probably okay. That's a lot of fives. Maybe I need to get rid of Tezzeret with bringing all these other fives. And keep Karn. Tezzeret's such a better card than Karn, but maybe it's not, actually. Against Chain Whirler. Alright, keeping Karn. Karn, where are you at? Spell Pierce? Spell Pierce is real good in the early game, I suppose. Um, could certainly be good there. But, you know, we're going to be going to a later game where, like, the burn spells will be hard to counter. Um, I think Spell Pierce is certainly at its best against Experimental Frenzy. But I think I just kind of like Negate. I know, neg you know, Negate costs one more, but I'm just getting the hard counter. Oh, where's where's our white man at? Dovin's been, been okay, I suppose. I feel like Dovin could be kind of anything else, but you know, it's a donation deck from Matthew Ori that and Matthew is saying that he's been really liking Dovin. Um Dovin certainly makes deploy a lot better card. So our opponent's playing some blue mana. They're doing something a little different. They're not just mono red. Where's our white man at? Do we have any white man in this deck? <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, secret is it? Yeah, this certainly could be Drake's. Uh, yeah, it could be Drake's with Lightning Strike, I suppose. Well, I'd certainly want Blast against that card. Do we even have enough white sources in this deck? Pretty skeptical that we have enough white sources. We have 18 blue. Probably don't. Eh. Because we have like nine blue sources with these and five white. But. All right. Uh, back to the drawing board. Um, maybe I need. Blast is a whole lot better against Rekindling Phoenix. <laughs> what if it's Jess Guy? It's totally possible our, co our opponent could be playing Jess Guy. All right, I'm I'm thinking they're less on Chain Whirler now. Let's get these Tezzerets back in. Um, yeah, and then Delvin would be better then too if they're not on Chain Whirler. Uh, binding. What do I want to do with you? Angel of Grace out against the Lava Coil deck and with Blast. And... Uh, I guess a Wrath out. Yeah, the biggest problem with Binding, of course, is Blast. Um, but hopefully that's not a problem for us. White sources. It's good hollow found art. I wish the hollow found didn't have this big tap thing over it so we could see it better. There we go. Now it's all better. And that glacial fortress looks pretty cool too. That one really does. Hey, Zerf. Doing pretty good today. Doing pretty good. Um, we have a couple donation decks with Azori Super Friends and Night Angels. And uh, two decks that I think are real strong is the other two. Simic Adapt and I have value. We're going, we uh, did real well with Simic Adapt yesterday, so I made some changes myself and want to try that deck out again. Alright, so it looks like they're still blue-red. I guess I don't need to throw Raph out into uh, like another lightning strike kind of thing. So we'll draw two. And then this turn I'll play Raph. Do I need to have a negate for Raph? No, I don't I don't really need a negate for Raph. I, Raph can die. Um, but casting a Kevistar's inside again isn't going to make a whole lot of sense when we have seven cards. We'd have to like go to discard. Um, so I certainly want to cast either Raph or deploy uh, this turn. And... I think I'd rather get rid of Raph than deploy in that scenario. Um, search is good. Oh, right, I can wait on search. It has flash because of Raph. I'm going to wait and have like these up. Uh, right. You're here for any deck with Raph. I, I had usually been playing search pretty good before with Raph. This was the first time that I didn't play it, that I played at sorcery speed. Bane fire for five. You got me. Raft down. <laughs> so 
We have six cards right now in hand. So they also have six. We have six. But we got double insight and search for Scanta helping us out. Um, we went four and two with the gates deck the other day. I guess they don't have any blue spells in their hand with that auto tap. Um, I know our, our last loss was like one of the, one of the, the games was just like mold a three, you know, with no lands on any of them, and so we're like one one in the other games kind of thing. And there's another loss that's real close like that. All right, we'll just graveyard. Hey, we got to a thousand YouTube subscribers. Awesome. Yeah, exactly a thousand. Thank y'all. All right. So that means it's 12 hour stream on Thursday. That's the plan. Um, I'm not gonna do it tomorrow. I got I have some things I have to do before the stream tomorrow. So 12 hour stream on Thursday for getting a thousand YouTube subscribers. Awesome. You can all, you can uh, if you are new here and want to check out my YouTube channel. That's where you can see all the replays of the decks. You can find them there. All right. Thanks, Isa. <laughs> Let me go on sub so you can have a half day Thursday. <laughs> um, uh, let's just go attack. Activate this as Kanto. Let's see if we can find a Planeswalker. You know, like if we find Teferi here, eh, just absorb. Let's see if we find Teferi, we could play Teferi, tick up, have Negate still up. All right. As Kanto, great. I don't know what our opponent was really doing or how they expected to win too much. We saw like one rekindling Phoenix in the few days. I don't know. That wasn't too hard of a match. All right, we're three and one. Three and one. Starting off better. You know, we, we lost our first two games to Turbo Fog. But uh, we're turning around three wins. All right. So not only long day Thursday now, 12-hour stream on Thursday, but then also remember... Uh, or if, if you didn't hear the announcement yesterday, um, Friday, I'm going to email, I'm going to send an email to all of my subscribers. Like there's an option on Twitch to just send email to subscribers. I'm going to write up a, uh, deck guide with at least two or maybe three decks, um, that, uh, that I, I would recommend for this weekend, um, with sideboard guide. So some people are like wondering what should I be playing um, if they're playing like SCG Indie this weekend, stuff like that. So I'm going to have at least two or, you know, so we'll see if there's three, but at least two decks with sideboard guide uh, written up. That'll be sent out to um, all the subscribers on, hmm, on Friday. Keep Absorb up. So they could like resolve rekindling Phoenix. Yep, so make sure you're you just you have an email address on your Twitch account. I want a good assault. To pick your art for the basics in arena, type your basic land, you know, type plains, island, you know, type whichever one you want. Uh, go to the advanced filter and uh, re click reset down at the bottom. I could certainly see Golgari midrange being the deck to beat for week one. Could certainly see that. Mm. 
the meta will shift significantly for the very first week, maybe not Sheet Mage, but it will over time, like give it a month. You know, it takes people time to to play a lot with the new cards and kind of see which, you know, all the decks to begin with are just kind of like rough drafts and it takes time. You're doing me a favor. All right, so we got to untap with Dovin. They're going to have treasure map going next turn. Dovin's really good against, like, you know, sacrifice effects, like Plague Crafter, Eldest Reborn kind of things. So how you just have, like, the the Thopters you get to sacrifice, and you don't have to sacrifice your Planeswalker. So that's, that's certainly a plus. Yep, Prime Subs get the email. Yep. Prime subs are subscribers. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we ultimated Dovin earlier. Um, and the... Uh, the animation was really cool after the ultimate. Like the huge Azoria symbol. Just covering the screen, basically. It was pretty cool. gimmick is worth it. Kaya's Wrath is a real standard standout. I I have been uh, pretty impressed with Esper, um, with Kaya's Wrath, uh, Mortify, and Absorb. I think those are all those are like three really good additions for like an Esper control. Clearly, the shortcomings here were mine. So I want Absorb to protect Teferi, right? Teferi is the, the card that's super important. I don't really care about Dovin as much. We already got we got two Thopters out of Dovin, so we traded one for one with removal plus two Thopters. Good trade. What? Destroy a non-basic land and deal two damage to me. Okay. So, if I... Oh, well, there we go. If I play Teferi, I can tick up, but I won't have Absorb available. Um, gonna go ahead and just play the Dovin. No, I like I like that card that my opponent's playing there, Bedeck Bedazzle. I mean, I think Bedeck is a strong is a, a good card, you know, it's just spatial contortion. And then yeah, your spatial contortion against control can destroy lands. I think I think it's a just a fine card. It is instant speed though, which I just realized. So our opponent could have waited. They did that on their turn. Which it looks like they're doing again. It is an instant. But I guess they don't want me to have that mana, I suppose. Alright, so if we tick up, we go to 6 loyalty. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. Oh yeah, the opponent could have dealt 2 damage to Dovin. Yeah, it deals 2 damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. Yeah, they could have killed Dovin. And that's a good point. Born to Weep says that if my opponent would have waited on instant speed the first time, um, we could have cracked. I guess the second time is the same. We could have cracked Memorial to Genius, um, you know, assuming we play land. All right, that's a card I'll counter. All right, so now I'm just going to Teferi. I could tuck a treasure. <laughs> you think we? You want to do? You want to go double Dovin instead of just playing Teferi? 
Yeah, I mean, we could negative one this dove in. I don't, I don't think that's necessary. I think just playing to fairies better. It's the small things that matter. Our our Dovin would be like prime to ultimate if we would have played a new Dovin. But our opponent's at eight. Teferi is gonna like be like, hey, kill me, I'm Teferi. But then like these things are killing my opponent. So if they take like the whole next turn off to like kill Teferi, they're very close to being dead. Alright, so we're playing like Rakdos Control. Um, so we should see a lot of duresses, maybe blood fasts, um, could certainly have like theater of horrors in there. Phoenix and siege gang commander are problems. Um, Yeah, could have Starve Extinction in the sideboard. That's certainly a card we got to watch out for, too. I think I want the Negates. I take out one Wrath. Take out a Dovin. <laughs> Not enough Gruel in the deck for you. I understand that life. Take out the maps. Bring in a couple Novas. Because I could certainly see Nova destroying all artifacts or enchantments being really nice. So I one reason why I cut the maps. Um, you know, I could see them having Bloodfast, Theater Horrors. Uh, that kind of stuff, like maybe Frenzy. We already saw a treasure map. Um, I could see going that mode with, with Cleansing Nova or, of course, the Destroy All Creatures mode if they have, like, Siege Gang Commanders and stuff. So I think Nova is a, a kind of a good card to have in here. Who was just deck on Spellqueller? A legendary Spellqueller that didn't get didn't get uh, removed from Byers' Ruinous Blast. All right, we need to find a legend. We need to turn on this blast. Get rid of this treasure map. I don't have an updated Naya Legends. I haven't looked at that deck too much yet. Um, so yeah, I don't have that updated yet. I don't think there was... It didn't really seem like there was too much to add to the deck, though. There weren't. There were hardly any legendary creatures and Planeswalkers in the new set. Um, especially Naya Color. Good job, Maelstron. Alright, and... Do I want to deploy in front of an Urza's Ruinous Blast? Or... Nah. I mean, I guess so, right? Like, we don't have... Don't have any, like, clear-cut way to turn on this blast. I don't have any islands in play. Memorial to Geniuses are in play. So to have absorb, to have white mana for absorb on turn three, I need to shock Hollow Fountain. Hmm. I 
countering that thing. Siege Gang can just do so much damage. That's a good card. That's a good one. Of course, Blast is only legendary creatures or sorceries. Or sorry, only legendary creatures or planeswalkers with the legendary sorcery. So, uh, Search for Scanta does not count towards that. Tezzer counts, though. Um... Tezzer starts with five loyalty. Should I just think about just cracking more Memorial to Genius? I don't really want to get rid of mana though. So we're kind of looking for like cards like Teferi. Those are good. And now we have Tezzer with Depose protection. This will be over quick. Cold logic will. Over I'm drawing a card um, because you know like the one one that we make i don't think is is going to be too valuable and i think just getting another card in hand um i don't really mind if tezzeret only takes 4 here but i i think just getting more cards is the most valuable thing like they're going to have to spend a card to get rid of tezzeret um on their turn i can also just again depose this phoenix and just tap it which i guess that's the thing to do Huh. That's a reason to have some creatures in play. That's certainly a reason to have some creatures in play. Alright, so... Let's still cycle. I guess this, So that'll be our fifth card. Tezzeret is going to be our sixth card. One more card it means Search for Canta Transforms. We're gonna be just fine. Like we're gonna be blasting away this this eldest reborn. Like we're we're good. So basically, almost whatever this is, it goes to the graveyard. Because yeah, we get to Dovin plus blast. Your loss will and then we'll make a one one or comedy of errors so, like you know the Elder Warren basically just it's like bedevil you know is just trades with our Tezzer at one for one but we got to draw a card also though I'm inspired by a good assault Yeah, it's just the one guild gate in the deck. Um, I usually like the one guild gate. I, I like nine duels. You know, we lost. You know, we saw last match. We lost the game because we only had. I we just had incorrect. five islands. Go ahead and for our, our, were like the draws for the our mana base. What land did they destroy? What did they destroy? Okay, they just destroyed Ascanta. Keep up the pace. All 
Alright, now we can crack Memorial or Arch or play Wrath. So we're looking great on the on the battlefield right now, but our opponent does have five cards, so they got lots of things. There's a standard tournament this weekend. Alright, so we're probably going to play this and then Eldest Reborn. And we'll just play Wrath to sacrifice to Eldest Reborn. Yeah, I'll be RNA standard. Hmm. I don't think I want to Nova away enchantments just yet. I'll also be streaming standard here, though, this weekend as well, but, you know, not a tournament. certainly possible they have another Eldritch Reborn in hand, and maybe we can get two with this Cleansing Nova. Just discarding an island is not that big of a deal. I, I think we can be patient. Hmm. What's better to do? I guess saving Insight is probably better. we have all this mana. I think just activating the Arch of Orozco. We get a, one less card, of course. Alright, so I think I'm going to have to destroy uh, destroy all creatures. Do I need to tuck? Like, what are they getting? Do I need to tuck this Eldest Reborn? I guess I probably do. They get Tezzeret. Is like the best thing, probably. They could have Tezzeret, or they could have, you know, Siege Gang Commander. And Tezzeret would be really annoying to deal with, so I think it's worth talking. Or we. Well, that's true, we could just tuck the Tezzeret at that point. No more so I guess they'll probably just get Siege Gang. Yeah, Siege Gang with all the mana available. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna get rid of this thing. Let's take That's fine. it back. Yeah, we'll we'll take it back. Hmm. Well then. All right, Teferi. Dying a hero. I could get deploy. Nope. Our opponent still just has a lot of cards. That's how it was meant to happen. My favorite new or improved deck has definitely been the uh, the blue green decks. I've been very impressed with like the blue green style decks. Um, I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Blast those things away again. Um, yeah, of my really genius. like Growth Chamber Guardian a whole lot. I think I'm just down to minus Karn also. 
I will fight for my friends. Oh, that got my blood pumping. Let's get some creatures. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. We know our opponent has an Eldritch Reborn on top. Oh, wow. Huh. I guess I, I need to draw there. I should have drawn in response. Man, I should have drawn. Could draw negate. I guess I'd rather negate Eldritch Reborn, though, honestly, so. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather negate Eldritch Reborn. What do you think of Dovin? I haven't been like super impressed with Dovin. It's it's been okay. But it's not awesome. Alright, awesome track team. Good. You're on, on your PC, got it. So yeah. Friday. I'll send out an email. These results are an anomaly, not to be repeated. With uh deck I'd recommend. The Karn token turned into a 1-1 one, one whenever... Um, Alright, I'm just going to take up and get some card advantage. Good choice. It turned into a 1-1 one, one whenever the other creatures died. And so then, you know, died from being a 1-1. One, one. Oh, I negated treasure map when I was on the blast plan earlier. That was probably not necessary. Alright, so they're about to go get Teferi. Yeah, they're about to get Teferi. Is. It's gonna be a close game. Fairy's gonna be tough to beat. Determine the course of history. Nothing is ever truly lost. So yeah, I guess I wasted in the gate earlier. Yeah, Kaya is pretty weak. Oh, it tapped the Arch of Araska? Dang it. I didn't want Archer Roska tapped. What do I have as answers to Teferi on the battlefield besides just another Teferi? I think just another Teferi, right? This isn't a fight you can win. Yeah, that's all I have. And. Okay, we've only seen one Teferi so far, so there's two more Teferis you know what? I'm in not these done yet. 20 cards. Alright, so we don't get to draw a card there. But we're looking fine. Like we're we're likely gonna be able to find another Teferi here. Oh, that card's good. With like activating his Kanta and everything. There we go. Oh, we only have one to. Yeah, no, no, we had two. We had two. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, so I, I have to worry a tad bit about decking. We're at 18 cards right now. Longer stand by and watch. I'm not ready for this quite yet. We'll tuck that to fairy. Now we're gonna be able to draw that to fairy. I'll make use of that laser. That's that's a good point. If I have to fairy online, I can just keep tucking tucking it to fairy, don't have to worry about ducking. Yeah, what was the line when you were holding double Karn to a fresh Eldest Reborn? Why not just down tick spam to create pressure of what is coming next? 
I think their Eldest Reborn was already on the battlefield when I had double Karn, right? Like, if I remember correctly, I, I believe that's the case. Maybe the Eldest Reborn... Because, when, yeah, when they were drawing the Eldest Reborn, I had Dovin and Karn in play. And then I cr cracked Memorial and drew two more Karns. And... And I had already minus two that Karn and minus the Dovin twice. And they, they end step used a sweeper to, to destroy my battlefield. I didn't have mana for, for more Karns or anything. So yeah, like the Elder Shaborn was already on the battlefield when I had the double Karn. Um, yeah, so we could have, could have, uh, yeah, we could have played a Karn and started making tokens, but they're just really small tokens. And it doesn't, and I don't think that's even better than the Elder Shaborn getting the Teferi quickly uh, from my opponent's side or Siege King Commander even. Um, and so I thought digging was a, a better option. And so I went, I played, you know, one Karn ticked up and started to dig. And then that Karn got bedeviled. And I had a new Karn that helped win the game there. So yeah, like, like uh, where we went there. Is history still broken? I don't know what, what you mean with that. I mean, history Benali is a, a good card. Um, I don't, I don't think it's broken in any way. Okay, we have, sorry the strokes, we have our final boss, 4-1, final boss time, here we go. Can we defeat the final boss, get to five wins? We're at our Final Fantasy VII boss music. Let's go. Ooh, search for his cancel on turn two, on the play, tilt, on the draw. Oh no, opponent has search for his Kanta. Somebody's gonna find his Kanta with all this searching. <laughs> we went on with the Final Fantasy music after an encounter. Oh, we need a We need a sub for that. That's what I have. I have that for the sub uh sound effect. I played limited the next day. I did I did a lot of drafting and stuff after the 12-hour stream there. Um all right, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy over Raph. Maybe I should go on Raph. No, I mean I, I don't mind the spell pierce too much there. All right, Raph. Go do your thing. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do the 12-hour stream on Thursday. Uh, there's actually a couple things I got to take care of tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna do the 12-hour stream on Thursday. Yeah, quasi dupla ooze was sweet. That was a lot of fun to play. Hmm. I want to jam the Tezzeret, but it's probably better not to. They're at three cards in library. We're at five or four. Right, that insight's in there. All right, and they're missing land drop. I'm going to insight. Alright, 
good. We got land drops now. Hmm. Um, Divine Visitation is probably just not necessary. In this deck. Um, it would be, I mean, you get a lot of 4-4 tokens. Um, so it would be pretty cool. But it's probably overall not too necessary. He hated it, but it looked like a deck you would pilot, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I played a teamer pod. I think, I think we played one during the 12-hour stream a couple days ago. Looks like our opponent probably has a lot of removal, not so much, not so many counters. I hope you don't mind if I enjoy this. Visitation is fun. That is true. It is good. Uh, Field of Ruin is really annoying for the opponent. That takes out my Escanta. That's a card we don't have to take out there, Escanta. Yeah, this doesn't actually look so good for us, I don't think. We do have a whole lot of tokens. Not tokens, sorry, counters. We do have a whole lot of counters, sorry. But they're about to flip their Escanta, and they're going to have active Escanta. It's going to take us a, a tad bit more to flip ours. But they're, they're going to kill our Escanta, so... We'll get cards, extra cards of Treasure Map. We'll have Memorial Genius to get extra cards. Um... And if they're, you know, them getting extra cards with, with Ascanta does cost, you know, a good amount of mana, though. Um, so it does hurt their mana. So I will be... I will be countering the disinformation campaign. All right, that's true. I could just not ever flip Search Roscanta and use it as surveil only. You know, they may also just gear, kill the treasure map. And we're drawing main phase. If we draw a land, we get to play the land. Mm -hmm. A control player should provide pillows to their opponent. Uh, 
I'm missing out on an opportunity of activating Karn this turn by not playing it. Kind of like playing on their turn, though. I'm using Absorb because they know about the Absorb. They know about both Absorbs. They don't know about the Negate or the Karn. Turn players to bring reading material. <laughs> Evil must not be tolerated. The choices we make reveal who we are. Alright, we haven't seen. It doesn't look like our opponent has a counter spell. They didn't. They let Car uh, Karn resolve. So, gonna go ahead and just get the Teferi going right now because of the untapping of lands. No time for a break. Um, I'll wait on this treasure map. Got the first game. Raph was pretty good there of just like letting us play instant speed. Raph is good in the control mirrors like that. Alright, we can take take Blast out, bring in Dawn of Hope, um, Spell Pierce, Negate, Binding, take out Settle. You know, we gotta be worried about like Thief of Sanity here. Thanks, Ronan. Glad you're enjoying it. Um, yeah, we could have speed treasure map there. So I think I like Depose because it's it's a good way to fight Thief of Sanity, I think. So I think I want to keep it. Um, yeah, I played Spawn, a Spawn of Mayhem deck yesterday. Actually. Uh, it's called Rakdos Mayhem. Played it just to play Spawn of Mayhem. You can see the replay on the YouTube channel. Whoops. There you go. Uh, if you want to watch Rakdos Spawn of Mayhem. Uh, this is 65. Do I even need Dawn of Hope? Yeah, Dawn of Hope's good. It's not good. Out Dovin for sure. I don't know. It seems like this would be the matchup for Dovin, right? Hmm. Dude, I don't even know what to do. I guess I'm just going to take out Depose. Hope we don't die to a Thief of Sanity. I guess. A Mortal Sun in this deck would be a very bad idea. Mortal Sun would not allow us to activate all of our many Planeswalkers. So that'd be a very bad idea. Yeah, we got to 1,000 subs on YouTube today, just a little bit ago. So we're going to be doing a 12-hour stream on Thursday. I have some things to take care of tomorrow. So we're going to be doing 12 hours before the stream. Um, so we're going to do it Thursday. So 12-hour stream on Thursday. And also, remember, Friday is when I will be emailing out um, a deck guide for at least two decks. Maybe three, but at least two decks. Um, rude. And... Uh, with Cyborg Guide and everything for the weekend for people playing at like SCG ND or other tournaments and stuff. Uh, 
All right, so we're looking pretty good against the the final boss here. Um, don't think I need to play Searcher's Kanto. No, I haven't decided exactly. You know, I want I want the you know I want them to be good decks and everything, and so uh, certainly like Simic Adapt and Nia Value are, are two decks that that are up there on my uh, on my list of potential decks. So especially during the 12 hour stream on Thursday, you know, we'll be playing playing decks and I'll kind of start hammering those out. So you know, I want to give good deck advice. You hope for Esper? You're not the first person to say that with hoping for Esper. So I'm saying that earlier. Unless Yahweh, that was you also saying that earlier. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think maybe we'll play an Esper deck on... Yeah, we should probably play an Esper deck here soon, because I, I do think Esper is good. But yeah, Naya value is pretty good. And I've been like kind of debating whether or not... So I'm using Absorb here over Negate because my opponent knows about the Absorb. Um, but anyway, I've been... I mean, debating whether Naya value should just be Abzan uh, value with, you know, if like Aurelia is worth it, really. Um, Growth Chamber Guardian gives you an, another two drop that's really good. So the need for like Dire Fleet Daredevil is probably a little less. Having Fine Finality and Ravenous Jupacabra is really nice. But of course, not having red. Means you don't get lava coil. I, um, I think the biggest problem with Naya is opponents Excellent. find finality specifically. Hmm. Those are two really good cards of their Karn. Maybe I've messed this game up. Ooh, binding is great. Great draw. Uh, anyway, another question: Does Shauna Sisei's legacy have a home in the current meta? It doesn't. It doesn't right now. Dang it. Well, I, I'm assuming they're gonna minus their Karn. Ugh, it's a good draw. Wow. That's a great turn. What was lost is now returned. Wow. So why'd you hold up mana for draw two instead of dropping your own card? Because I thought the, the card would get countered. Um, I think they had mana for counterspell at that time, if I remember correctly. Until you have lived as it's awakened. There's one guild gate in the deck to help out uh, with the different colors of mana. I like playing one guild gate. The all the cards in the deck though, this is a donation deck. This wasn't a deck that I that I built. Um but I, I do approve of the the guild gate. They had one they, okay, they only had one mana open. Alright, I need I have started to kind of throw this away here. Oh say hello to my little friend. Hmm. Some solutions must be built. I am not going to sit this one out. You need to slow down. Please 
to discuss our differences. Okay, now I have, I have like, as Kanta activation up or Dawn of Hope activation, I don't have any cards in hand, so disinformation camp, so I don't have to like worry about disinformation campaign. Good choice. Um, making me discard. And we got the Ascanta actually just exiled with the Karn tokens. So that's good for us. Um, if they go Eldest Reborn. What? I have Spell Pierce in my deck, right? Spell Pierce? Crap. It's the first time I've played against that card. <laughs> the time has come. All right, at least we got rid of all the cards. Need to move quickly. Yeah, actually, this actually is not even bad for us because they minus that Karn. Oh, well, they could have negate here. I mean, well, we just. Attack, attack. Alright, so they have a whole round. bunch of cards in hand. Um, do I play Tezzeret into a potential counter spell? I got 10 mana right now. Foolish to come. Yeah, I think we have to make them have negate too. I think so too. Especially, you know, playing against campaign. Like, keeping cards in hand is not necessarily the best thing in this scenario for us. Alright, sorry, Tesseret. We're just going to be attacking. Start making tokens with Donna Hope. Yeah, final boss. It's putting up a fight. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Like, maybe I should be activating Ascanta here and see if we hit a Planeswalker. But I kind of don't think they're going to have much removal in this kind of matchup post-board. Sweeper kind of removal. Uh, negates a bad draw. Four, four, one, two. I, I could just keep Hollowed Found in my hand, I guess, and discard to Elder Reborn. Or I could, you know. Bleh. We could just scry three, draw three. So that's a whole lot of cards. Let's go for a counter spell. They didn't even put a card in their hand for um Ascanta. Dang.
Final boss defeated. That's a 5-1. We even got to draw that extra card with Dawn of Hope. Opponent did not have Thief of Sanity, which I was very glad they did not. There we go. Donation decks are OP. All right, growing rights of Itlamok and uh, some other rare that I already have four of. The collection's getting smaller and smaller. Um, I certainly got all the cards in... Yeah, I don't have all of them, but I have almost all the cards in Ravnica Allegiance so fast because of this new rule of how you can't reopen cards kind of thing. Did this deck feel better than Jeskai Legends? Um, no, I don't think so. I think I like Jeskai Legends more. Um, but it just kind of shows like the power of just being able to play at instant speed and having counter magic. Uh, you know, it's, all that kind of stuff is really good. The Planeswalkers are, of course, real good. Um, Karn was all right. Karn wasn't like spectacular too much. Um, Tezzeret, of course, is great. So is Teferi. Raph was honestly, Raph was just really good all the time, even though it's just like, you know, you wouldn't really think so. It's like the only creature here. Letting me play at instant speed and then let, letting me play other stuff at instant speed. You know, like we played instant speed Urza's Ruinous Blast, which was real key one time against haste creatures. Um, and so on. But yeah, the deck was deck was certainly fun. Uh, you can find the Jeskai Legends deck in here in exclamation point decks there. If you're watching on YouTube later, you can find it on uh, my deck list page, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. And I think now on my YouTube videos, it should have a, um, a description for like a link to all the decks. So you can find it on there. Um, yeah, you, you can, the deck list is, is in there also guest for the Vanifar, for the Sultai Vanifar. It's again there. Um, same, same link, just up a little bit ago. Uh, right above you. All right. Uh, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching, of course. And I'll see you for the next video.